What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bolts and Boost. I am here to review this Mastercraft polishing tumbler, five pound capacity. I only bought one uh, medium blaster, Mastercraft medium blaster, media, sorry. That's the part number. And I got some really dirty, rusty, grimy parts that we're gonna put to the test and see how she does. And I'm gonna show you guys um, raw and unedited on how this thing performs. So I'm gonna go around and find, these are what I have so far. I'm gonna go find some more. We're gonna put it in there and see how it turns out. Guys, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's check out the contents here. Ooh, there's some stuff leaking out or what is that? Maybe it's just original seal, I don't know. Really easy machine to use. Oh yeah, that's for the seal. Ta-da! Okay. Whew. So, remember these were just filthy. Wow. Look at that. Very impressed so far. This was filthy and rusty <laughs> at the top. These were really bad. Really bad. So uh, it's doing a good job. 20 minutes only in here and most of the rust is gone. Right there was the worst. Wow, that bolt is like brand new. I am thoroughly impressed. I watched a video on this thing before I bought it and the guy was using a different media and it was a lot thicker than this and they didn't turn out that great, but like this bolt was full rust, full on rust. Still has some on it, but like that is good. Wow. Like these are going to turn out beautiful, like brand new, like polished clamps. It's working its way through the rust. Pretty good. Here's the other bracket. So again, cutting through the very, very surface rust. Looks like this one got better on that side. This is only one bottle of the media. Oh, there it is right there. But so far, so good. I'm actually really enjoying the results here. Like, look at that bolt. Like, after you clean these off with, like, spray nine or something, they're going to be brand new. This one was a bad one. So, obviously, this is only 20 minutes. This is not... Um, it's taking the paint off, which is good. So, I'm going to do this for longer and show you guys the results. But this bolt was bad. Really bad, and it's turning out okay. So... Very happy with the results. Now, I want the media, the blasting media to be, um, it's not hitting everything obviously, right? Because I don't have enough in here. So that's going to be problem number one. But I'm going to get back to this in the morning and uh, turn her on again and see what she does. So again, that's the box for dry, shining, metal polishing and rust cutting. Very cool. This was on sale for $69.99. Regular price was $80. 10 bucks off, but very cool. So let's see what uh, results we get tomorrow. All right, guys, it's the next day. And I let this thing go for probably just about an hour. So really there's everything in here. Um, well, those have 20 minutes on them. And these come when you buy them, they come, basically they look kind of like that. They're definitely not like shiny like this. Like this is like mirror finish almost. And these were only in there for 20 minutes. And uh, I just wiped this one down. That's why these ones still have dust on them or uh, remnants of the media, which you can see right there. But I put some other things in here this morning, uh, battery tie down to my forearm. But uh, 
see how everything looks. So there's about an hour and 20 minutes-ish on uh, most of the things in here. So if you recall, these were really rusty before. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with the results. It's definitely way better shape than it went in. This was totally rusty. And it uh, looks like it took all the rust off of this. So that's good. Basically, it looked like this. I'm going to clean everything off, though, and show you guys on camera what it looks like. But I'm going to need both hands. So, so far, so good. Let's see what everything looks like. All right. So, this is what came out of there. Uh, I'm quite impressed. This rod looked identical to this one. So, it cleaned it up really nice. Uh, I'm obviously going to do something with it. I'm going to paint it. And I'm going to paint this part of the tie down as well. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit better. But this was really rusty. All of these screws and nuts and everything were like really rusty. These were really rusty. And everything came out looking decent. Uh, the threads in here were really rusty. These were exposed to the elements for quite some time. So I'm pretty impressed. You know, I'm not looking for anything professional grade, but I'm looking for something that I can stick in here for an hour or two, clean up all my bolts, right? Because I'm always doing something in the garage, working on cars and whatnot and painting. And it's super nice to have something that you can just stick in there and it do most of the work for you. So that's where I'm at. Um, I paid 80 bucks for this, another $15 for the media and that being said, this was all done on one jug of the media. It doesn't really tell you what you need. So I just bought one and, you know, it fills it to about there. I should have bought two and filled it up to about there. And I probably would have had different results. Not only that, but you can purchase different abrasiveness for the media in here, right? I think this stuff is super, like, fine. You can buy a lot coarser stuff to take all the stuff. But, like, look at this. This was all, like, heavily rusted stuff. So... I'm I'm happy with it, and like these, you know, it's nice that it turns all of these into a mirror finish. I'm going to throw these back in there. I'm going to throw a bunch of them back in there and uh, just go to town because, like, that middle one turned out beautiful. Uh, it did have more time than the other two in there, so that's probably why that one looks like that. But I'm going to throw all the clamps I have in there, and they're going to look brand new. You should have seen them before. They were disgusting. So, uh... Thumbs up for me, two thumbs up for me, especially for the price. I'm excited to see what else I can throw in there. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out other videos on the channel. It's primarily automotive stuff. Uh, if you enjoy this sort of stuff, subscribe. All right, everybody. Peace.